Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Now I'm going to show you one other thing that I use Excel for and I absolutely love it. Now one of the things that you need to understand about using Excel is that it's supposed to show you data and it's supposed to basically show you data and for you to kind of look at the data and make uh, kind of predictions on it. Now oftentimes when there's a productivity app the best the best productivity apps just start with Excel sheets, okay? And because of that, I'm going to show you again one of the things that I'm I really like doing here. So I'm just going to up this the zoom quite a bit here. And what what I like to do is I like to record my time doing productive things, okay? So for example, I actually have this other spreadsheet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the like kind of the categories that I am I need to focus on so I'm gonna say total unreal engine okay or just total unreal so all the time I spend working in the unreal engine okay so the other thing that I'm working on is development okay so all the time I'm developing apps and I literally have this sheet um, and uh, I say total I uh, or just guitar playing guitar, and then Total or YouTube, okay? So this is exactly what I do here. And what I do is I put the time in there, okay? And I also do the date. And we actually haven't talked about dates here. So let's put in a date, all right? So adding a date is very simple. So I'm just going to add in a date here that's in the past or just the date and like that here. And as you can see, it basically formats this in a date automatically and you can actually go and you know do this here all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just basically draw a little bit of this out here um, just so that you can get the idea and so all I do is I add in the minutes okay so I'm just gonna add in some minutes here 40 30 and then you know something like 120 or something all right and so you basically get the idea and, you know, I'm just going to um, add in some, some other numbers here. Mm -hmm. Right, and these are, of course, in minutes. And I'm going to show you what I do here. And then I'm going to do 20, 60, 100, and 100, okay? And then I'm just going to literally copy and paste this again and again. And then we'll just copy and paste this line here. All right, so you get the idea. Now, what I also like to do is I also like to put this up top here, okay? And what I do is I record the total amount of time that I'm doing in all, on all this. So I'm going to do total Unreal, and I'm just going to call actually this Unreal because I don't need to have the total here. And I'm going to scrunch that down as much as I can. And while I'm here, I might as well uh, make these centered so it just looks a little bit better okay so we got and I'm also gonna move this over here you're gonna see why in just a second here okay so total unreal and I'm gonna say total development and I'm gonna say total guitar and then total YouTube and if there's anything I need to do I just add another column to it right you see how that works here and so all I'm gonna do is add in the sum and I basically just add in that whole line here. And and so what I also like to do is I'm going to, these are the minutes here, and then I divide that by 60, okay? And we got 6.333. Uh, let's take that down to 2, okay? Um, and I'll just say total hours here, okay? And just simply push Control b bold um, this as well and I'm actually going to um, 
Yeah, so you know I don't need that total hours there. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is, well, unfortunately, you can't really do anything um, like that here. So let's equals sum and equal sum that and then divided by 60 so you get the hour count and then if I do this here will it actually no it won't okay B we can just change this to D and D and then we can copy this down as well and you can say this is of course E and E so really here I've just shown you how to make a productivity app but I'm not done yet, okay? And this is something, again, this is something I really do. And once I started doing this, it has changed my life here, right? So for example, if I look at this here, like these aren't the real numbers, of course, but if I look at this here, I'm, I might say, look, I'm spending a little bit too little time on Unreal. Maybe I should do a little bit more, okay? And by the way, sometimes my actual productivity chart looks more like this, right? It looks like there's holes in in everything. So, you know, and I just don't put anything there. There's just there's the hole there. And then you can see here, like, you know, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Um, you know, I spend some time on guitar and like, oh, man, I really need to spend more time on the Unreal Engine. OK, but we're not quite done yet. OK, so what I'm going to do here is the other thing that I do is I add in my comments. OK, and. The comment section is probably the uh, is probably one of the the more important uh, sections here. So I'm just going to actually um, add that up here. And the comment section, and I'm actually actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lower that one, one. There we go. We might as well lower this down as well to ten. Okay. And so I usually say, like for example, it's like feeling unmotivated unmotivated today didn't get enough done had a doctor's appointment couldn't focus so what you do here is you kind of add in a little diary of what you're uh, what you're supposed to do and this is something that I think is really good because you know like for for example this one I might say you know kid woke me up early didn't get a good sleep didn't want to do anything else right like and so you can see that here and like if I had a really productive day like this one here I might say something like um, nailed it feeling motivated today um, you know, something like that, looking forward to the weekend or something, right? And so, so as you can see, that's what I usually do. Now, I highly recommend that you guys uh, do this as well, that you have a sheet here that basically uh, puts the day and puts how much time you spent on it. Tracking this time is really important. And of course, you can graphic it and do all those things as well. But frankly, I think this is really awesome uh, just because, you know, you, you can see what you're, what you, you know, what time you're doing. Um, and, you know, YouTube, by the way, is producing YouTube videos. Uh, it's not not watching YouTube, right? And it, and what I, what I do is I do what I do positively. And a lot of people do what they they shouldn't be doing as well. Like, you know, they maybe watch too much Netflix, too many video games, and, uh, you know, they, they have something negative. Now, that's obviously something you can do as well. But personally, I think that uh, if you do this, um, it will improve at least your productivity a bit. I don't do the negative stuff because I kind of know I shouldn't be doing those things anyway. So I just say, how can I just improve? It's an additive and a a positive process versus a subtractive process, right? So like, you know, if let's say pick a day like this one here, and we'll just delete that. And it's like, you can, you can, you can put it in here. You can say played too many video games. All right. And so there you go. Um, so that is a good way of, um, and that's a very good way of actually, um, of, tracking your progress and i highly recommend that you do one of these as well thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video